Well, hello, I'm Brian Woolley, uh, Agronomic Sales Representative with Syngenta Canada. Here today at one of our Western Bean Cutworm Traps, where we've been monitoring it since uh, about mid-May. And uh, it's interesting, uh, we got about three or 400 in this trap last Friday. Uh, I took out another 80 on this past Monday. Today it's Friday again. And I'm gonna, we haven't counted it yet, but I'm guessing there's uh, another 200 to 300 in there. So... Uh, and the bulk of these, probably 90 to 99 percent of these, are going to be uh, western bean cutworms. So, a lot of them are still in flight. We uh, obviously have a corn crop that's under a lot of stress in a lot of areas in Ontario from lack of moisture. Uh, the, the cutworm, these western bean cutworms, are obviously flying around. Personally, I've not found a lot of egg masses, but they are being reported, and. I think we have to be continue our diligence, checking the traps and looking for egg masses in our field. If we have one in 20 plants, uh, five in 100 that have an egg mass on them, that's the threshold for spraying for western bean cutworm. Uh, we, we probably should think about spraying, um, particularly if we think we have a, a good crop and, and one that's worth protecting. So, uh, you know, check, uh, check your fields. Check a couple areas in the fields. If you find one in one out of 20 plants with an egg mass, go back in a few days. If you see the hatch has happened, it's time to spray. Another thing to consider when you're out uh, checking our fields is what type of corn we're growing uh, from a trait perspective. A lot of the corn we're growing today with uh, some of our competitors have trait protection in there. From NK, we have corn with Viptera protection. So even though we've had moths in a field with egg laying going on, we don't necessarily have to spray those fields. There's protection in the corn plant built in. So they will kill those worms once they hatch from the eggs. They will feed, and uh, but the Viptera pr will protect uh, that crop against any uh, deleterious effects on the ear or the grain. So again, just to recap, we want guys to continue to check their traps, look at the Western Bean Trap Network, uh, check their fields for egg masses, uh, see if we're at threshold, check what kind of corn you're growing, all these things uh, take into account. It's all about trying to grow the best crop we can and protect what we have growing in the field today.